The National Minerals Information Center at the USGS has been the world's premier resource for data on commodities used to develop nations, bring innovations in technology, and improve the quality of life for billions the world over. Our mineral commodity summaries are an annual compilation of domestic production and other salient statistics for over 85 mineral commodities. This data is used by government agencies, industry experts, economists, and more people every year. We are pleased to announce the release of the 2017 Mineral Commodity Summaries by the National Minerals Information Center. Home to the world's leading specialists, the center remains America's resource for understanding the factors that influence minerals production and trade. Our function is to uh, collect, analyze, and publish mineral commodity information for non-fuel minerals that are important for the U.S. economy and national security. Our driving force is a team of statistical analysts and assistants who collect and analyze data from thousands of producers and trade groups. It starts with the statistical assistants. Forms are mailed out to all the companies that we survey for voluntary response. The reports come in, the essays, you review the forms, check them for year consistency, any kind of errors, if the data looks good. They then compile that information into a database which puts them into table form for us for movement over to the commodity specialist. Since the Industrial Revolution, iron-based materials have become the basis for our modern world. From the cars we drive to our tallest buildings, iron and steel are the backbone of an industrialized nation. Americans felt the squeeze of a globalized steel industry as iron ore mines and steel facilities were idled or shut down in the last two years. Globally, the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development reported a massive global steel overcapacity, estimated nearly 544 million tons in 2015, and continuing into 2016. The iron and steel industry has been going through a period of strong and very publicized contraction in recent years. Foreign government subsidies and other market distorting policies have resulted in overproduction. This, along with depressed global steel demand and import barriers in other markets, caused a large increase in U.S. imports of steel. Metals are all around us, whether flipping a light switch or flying across the country. These metals are key to our modern world, from the copper wires building our electrical grid to exotic metals like the indium in your TV. Because of its importance to battery suppliers and car manufacturers, lithium supply security has become a top priority for technology companies in the United States and Asia. Strategic partnerships between technology companies and exploration companies continue to be established to ensure reliable, diversified supply. The 2016 estimated average free market price of indium decreased by more than 40% from that of 2015. Low prices were attributed to an oversupply and depressed demand after the recent collapse of the Fania Metal Exchange. Industrial minerals are the bedrock of American infrastructure. From the roads we drive on to the electronics in our pockets, these minerals are all around us. For most of the United States, the past winter was warmer than average with little severe winter weather, which also means less salt for highway de-icing. Rock salt production and imports in 2016 decreased significantly because of decreased demand from many local and state transportation departments. Although cement sales and construction were somewhat higher than in 2015, low oil and gas prices led to reduced use in oil and gas wells. Looking forward, current developments in the international energy sector could revamp domestic oil and gas production, which would not only improve the outlook for cement, but other commodities. A domestic focus on so many minerals is a difficult task. But our specialists also strive to focus on the larger world, where a major portion of the world's resources are produced and imported from. The Philippines, the world's leading producer of nickel ore, suspended half of its mining operations in September for failing to meet environmental standards. This caused a 2% increase in nickel prices globally, which helped the recovery in the market. Another team of researchers in the center analyzes the network of connections between mining, processing, and recycling to enhance our understanding of the material's life cycle. After specialists collect and analyze data for commodities and countries, we then use it to answer real-world questions. One of our current projects is a collaboration with multiple government agencies to evaluate mineral criticality. The National Minerals Information Center is the world leader in providing insight and statistics into the global minerals industries. We are proud to announce the release of the 2017 Mineral Commodity Summaries today. Please find more information about who we are, what we do, and the information we publish at minerals.usgs.gov minerals. Thank you.